Hello, hello. Yeah, we're playing more Soul Ash 2. I'm addicted, I can't stop. I played a little bit off camera, just grinding some of the skills we were already working on. Adventuring, athletics, carpentry, and I got started on hunting because from carpentry I can actually I actually was able to make a bow. So I made a primitive bow and some arrows. And I also uh just to see how putting it in order works with uh, tradesmen and PCs, I went ahead and ordered a durable leather cap here from one of our family members who is a leather worker. Managed to get that, and we managed to uh, stave off starvation for now. Because <laughs> what I've been doing, since I got my carpentry up a little bit, I'm able to make things like these wooden flails now, which cost two wood to make. Which, obviously, I could just go out and gather it myself. It doesn't really uh, have a cost for me to go, you know, hop one tile over in the map and grab some. I can make them and sell them for a, a pittance, but still some money. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we did manage to kill one deer with the bow so far. But I think small game will probably be a little easier to go after. And now I've got two water skins and a decent food supply. I was thinking about hitting up one of these POIs. Now, we did off-camera ask one of the local hunters about local POIs and got a couple more added to the map. Closest one being this attacked caravan, which was will be probably what we go after next. So let's go ahead and head right on over there. Enter the region, and just in case, at first, I'm going to have our axe and shield equipped, since that's, right now, skill-wise, we're built much more for axe and shield than anything else there's a uh, shovel laying on the ground here we'll take it three copper shovel it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot out here but we're getting closer to the attacked caravan in question we just want to proceed cautiously, hence why I'm only moving a couple steps at a time. Alright, we're coming up on it. Ooh, there's a bunch of maple trees here, too. Wolves. Well, we know we can handle wolves. And, but oh no, a badger. That I don't know if I can handle. Let's just beat this first one down. Take a quick rest. Start chasing the second wolf down. Oh, there's a snake. Sneaky snake. Alright, the wolves are looking like they don't want any of that business right now. Except for this one. Come on, buddy. Get the chop. shield bashed. There we go, another level in axe fighting. We're becoming quite powerful. Alright, we got two furs and eight meat from all that. Wow. But night is falling. Heard some speech. Ha <laughs> ha. 
knock that snake into next week. All right, we got the snake. All right, we got snake leather. We got another wolf fur. Even more meat. Yeah, fighting a night like this probably isn't uh, the smartest thing. But hey. A bone sword. Okay. Steel sabatons. That's uh, really good. Let's go ahead and equip those. <laughs> that is uh, copper and steel. Oh, excuse me. Sabatons. Four physical resistance, two fire, two electrical, one acid. Wow. Yeah, that is uh, really good. But we have another wolf. Get bashed, idiot. Oh, what have we here? Need to get where I can see, damn it. Alright, now can we uh, scavenge off these corpses? Wow, that rabbit uh, disappeared as quickly as it appeared. <laughs> That is a cart, huh? If I do not want to pour water on it. Well. We might want to use one of our wood to just build a quick shelter for the night. And then see if we can investigate further. What have we here? What is that? Uh, a leg. No thanks, I will not be picking up and dra and moving the leg. Hey, what a perfect opportunity for us to uh, train athletics, right? Drag leg. We got a lot of meat needs cooking up, though. And a rabbit. And we got a baby rabbit as well. Well, they're just running right into me, giving me fur and meat. They came out of nowhere. Before anyone could do anything, we were under attack. Just want to go home now. Anything interesting nearby? Alright. Well, we'll take all the easy ones. Thank you. And you're welcome for saving your life. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, build a quick tree tent here. Did sleep till morning. Now, I think I'm going to equip the bow. And 
let's see if we can bow and arrows equipped and see if we can nail us a rabbit I did this before why is it not functioning now Bow arrows all seems to be in order. There we go. All right, because we want to get that hunting skill up a little bit. Let's see if maybe we can nail one of these badgers. And we managed to recover at least a few of our arrows. Excellent, not like they cost a lot for us to make, but still. And we did get hunting one, looks like. Excellent. Excellent. I'd like to get to hunting three so we can get to that. This passive, eagle eye, base sight plus two. That would be quite excellent. Do we murder the cat? It's a tough world. It's a tough world out there. Your XP. That's what you are. Excellent. Well, we're going to have to remember this area for having uh, lots of maple. So let's make sure to cut at least one maple down so that we remember that there's maple here. Excellent. Now I think we will... Oh yeah, because we are very close to our carrying capacity. And I'm definitely going to be keeping some of this stuff, but a lot of it is going to get sold off because we need money. We've got two skill points, or uh, statistic points to distribute, so we're going to go 1 to Endurance, make it a nice even 18, 1 to Strength, make it a nice even 16, and I think the next couple we'll probably put into decks. I like being a little more versatile, you know, a little more jack of all trades. At least this early on. Plus, uh, one of the few mods in the collection we're running with increases the uh, skill cap. The total amount of skills you can have. Which I like that. Especially since I'm just still learning the game. My, I'll probably want to limit myself more down the road. But for now, I just want to toy around with it and, and learn. Alright, so first things first, let's cook all that meat. We got a lot of meat to cook. <laughs> a lot of meat to cook. Oh, that satisfying sound. We ain't gonna be worrying about food for a minute. That's for sure. Not for a minute. Excellent, we now have 32 cooked meat. 
We ate up all of our bread, but we also have an assortment of berries. We grabbed some more maple wood, so we've got quite a bit of maple wood. That copper shovel was probably one of the things we'll be keeping, as, you know, tools are going to be kind of necessary. Uh, we'll probably sell off some of these furs. I think I will salvage this to train weaponsmithing. We'll probably sell the baby rabbit and, like, the rabbit furs. Oh, excuse me. But we'll keep, or, yeah, we'll sell some of the furs and keep some of the furs. Because, uh, we do need the money. So let's go trade with, like, the innkeep. Nobody home? It is, uh, the wee hours of the night. So we should probably rest till morning. Alright. Early morn. Time to go harass the innkeep. Let's trade. Alrighty. Let's... Sell him the baby rabbit. And all the rabbit and badger fur. Some of the wolf furs. I think that'd be good for now. That's a good little chunk of change. And like I said, we ain't gonna have to worry about food for a hot minute. So we can get to crafting. We can get to crafting. Alright. What's the best thing we can craft from adventuring so far? It's gonna be the water skin. Hmm. Well then, I don't think we're going to immediately grind. I mean, we could make... Let's see how much XP for this that making, like, maple quarter staffs is going to make us. Because I'm not sure. Alright, 4 XP. We need 50 to, uh, or 30, excuse me, to level up that skill, so let's grind this out. Let's grind her out. And we can probably sell these for a a few pennies at least. Alright. That puts us at adventuring 10. Which means we can now craft bed rolls from a tailor workstation. 12 is the goal, though. 12 is the goal. So once we've made a few more of these and then sold them to clear up some inventory space, we'll probably go back to that same spot and just grab more maple. Craft a couple more. Uh, 
All right, we've made a metric ton of maple quarter staffs now. It is morning time, actually. Oh, can't move because I'm carrying too much weight. Lovely. Well, we're going to have to salvage a couple of them then. We still get the XP. We still get the XP. We'll just get a couple coins less. I believe we can actually sell them straight to our family member here. Yeah, because I sold them some other crap that I found. Well then, beloved family member, to you buy all these maple quarter staffs off me? <laughs> Sound investment. Well, that puts me up to 60 coins, gold, ducats, florins, whatever you want to call them. We'll use this opportunity to uh, rest up, though. Because, holy moly. Alright. Excellent. Now we've cleared up quite a bit of space. But I would like to clear out some of this regular wood from my inventory. So let's repeat the same thing just with the regular wood ones. They won't be worth near as much money and they'll be worth half as much XP. But we just gained a level in adventuring anyway. <laughs> we got it anyways. Level 11. And we are 6 out of 32 towards it. Excellent. Hey, you want to buy <laughs> some more quarter staffs? <laughs> Beloved family member? <laughs> Alright. Let's make three more excellent would you like some more some more quarter staffs well you know that got that uh, junk wood out of our inventory and got us more adventuring XP. Alright, we're now we only need 20 more points to get to 32 experience there. And then we'll probably work on carpentry a little more. So I think the next step is going to be to... Head back to the ambushed caravan site. Or attacked caravan site. Now we showed up, of course, middle of the damn night. And we're going to collect a bunch more maple wood. Because the stuff that we make from that from said maple wood will be worth a lot more money and i like money all right well we do have a wolf here is this a different attack caravan site Did I accidentally get rid of my shield? Uh-oh. Well then. What a conundrum. What a conundrum indeed.
All right. Well, then we're definitely lacking protection since we don't have our leather shield. I don't know what happened to it. But alas, it's gone. I ain't seen it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I definitely ain't seen it anywhere. Very unfortunate. I do not want to pick up a humanoid arm, thank you. I did not want to pick that up. Well, this is what happens, I don't pay attention to my stamina. Now that the shield is kaput, uh, we should definitely be a little more cautious in combat. But we definitely took the wolves to task. Gaining a bunch more meat, fur. And we still have a little bit of carrying capacity. So, let's move on and see... This was the one. <laughs> oh, we found a troublesome one there. Uh, definitely not going there now. <laughs> oh, we do have an unspent statistic point. Like I said, I think we're going to put the next couple points into dexterity. Bows are cool, you know. And now let's look for what we came here for. Maple. Sweet, sweet maple. We could probably also shoot the hell out of a couple of these badgers while we're here. You know, for for funsies. AKA, uh, I need hunting XP. Plus more uh, furs to sell. Got a few more maple. Let's see if maybe... Alright. Pick up all the arrows we can. We're definitely gonna need to carve some more arrows. Let's cut down one more maple. And we just gotta remember that this is a good location for maple wood. Oh, 
All right. That would be level two hunting, would it not? All right. One more and we get base sight plus two, which seems like it would be quite nice. Maybe we hang around, uh, screw with the local wildlife a little bit more. Perhaps. If there's any to be had. Unless I, uh, hunted the local wildlife to, uh, extinction. Well, we know there was, uh, we know there was badgers and such as well over at the other the other caravan site the one that we went to by mistake let's uh let's make that 12 dis dexterity and let's actually head back over there real quick since we've still got a little bit of space in our pack not a lot but enough for some enough for some more meats and furs Let's see. Let's kind of try and find where we were here. But it is nighttime, so we should probably wait till morning. Alright, we've had our morning meet, our morning schmeet, back onto the hunt. Not seeing anything. Some students. Oh wow, I'm exactly at my weight limit now. <laughs> Alright, never mind, we're leaving. It's the only students I've I've found so far, so we might I figure we might need them at some point. I'm sure we'll need some stone for something. All right, a, re a glorious return. First thing, cooking. Got 28 more meat to cook. kind of shield I could make as a buckler and I don't have metal or an anvil to uh, to do that hmm well first thing then let's make like 12 maple arrows Those 
those should be a little better than the crude ones. Then, oh, let's see here. First, let's maybe sell off. So let's see if Inkeep wants any of them damn furs in the morning. Innkeep. Where the hell's the innkeep? One, who are you? Oh, you're also an innkeep. Alright. Well, maybe you'll buy some of this crap off of me. Yo, that silk sells for a lot. Let's do it. That's uh, 22 right there. I want to use all that maple wood for grinding carpentry. So. Let's take the money for now. That'll clear up a little bit of inventory space. Not very much. But we're very much nearing where I could go and make a camp out in the out in the wilderness and start building up a stash a stash of goods and then occasionally coming to town and selling them but the thing is to be able to make my own workbench I'm gonna need level 12 carpentry So, methinks, before I decide to go out on my own, um, building my own little settlement, it would probably behoove me to be able to make at least a workbench. So I'm going to have to find a carpentry trainer. Do we have a carpentry trainer in town? Timotheus Silveregg, an expert at carpentry who works at Silveregg's Carpenter. Okay. About where is Silveregg's Carpenter? Where is it? Silveregg's Farmland, Silveregg's Carpenter. Alright, excellent. Let's head on over there and see if we can get a little training. To increase our total skill potential there. AKA the cap for that specific skill. Like for adventuring for me it's currently 20. Uh, for axe fighting is also 20. For protection it's 20. But for most other things it's 10. For carpentry it's 10 right now. The same mod I'm running that um, increases the total skill cap also slightly reduces the cost of training so it does cost a little bit less Timothea all right excellent well that's pretty much all of our gold but Carpentry potential is higher now. So methinks the next step is to craft a bunch more maple arrows. So we can go out and practice hunting. Which will get us more junk. And... Uh, skill in a few other disciplines as well. Alright, that got us up to carpentry, what? 
six. <laughs> we got a ways to go, boys. I think investing in the skill grind early will be worth it. Yeah, when we get to ten, when we get to nine, we can make a better bow. When we get to ten, we can make a wooden buckler. And then twelve, workbench. Excellent. Yeah, I think this will be good for us in the end, doing this first. While we still have, you know, a massive surplus of food and, and all that. Alright, excellent. You know, maybe I should just sell the stone. When I make my building, it's probably going to be out of wood anyways. Let's uh sell it to family. <laughs> Get it out of my inventory. No, all of them. All of them. That'll give us another couple shiny coins in our pocket and a little bit more carry weight. Yeah, it'll suck not having a stash of our own to stash stuff in. Because... Can't exactly use the family stash here, unfortunately. But we will make do. Alright, we got... Get rid of these crude arrows as well. We're just gonna... We're just gonna use maple ones from now on. Let's we'll get rid of those. Spend the rest of the day crafting... Maple arrows. Rest for the night and then we'll head out again. Alright, that got us another level in carpentry. Arrows definitely seems to be uh, the way to go for these. For, lever for leveling carpentry at the very least. Let's kind of switch that around here. Alright. That looks pretty good. Let's get rid of some of that firewood, huh? I don't need to be carrying around that much firewood. Alright. It is morning, so... We can probably... Just... Eh, come on. Make the final three here. Stack those in. There we go. Now we got 35 arrows. Now, let's go ahead and sleep it off. Let's actually head back to the cave, I think. Or no. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, that's being dumb of me. Those moss men are gonna beat my face in again. Let's look at this plagued farm. I'm curious. It's another easy rated one, so it shouldn't be too bad. Wait for morning. We'll scout it out. There be strawberries here. A damn decent amount of them. All right. Well, I'm already liking this place. Lots of just free food. <laughs> My favorite kind. Oh boy, I'm gonna be very rich coming out of here. <laughs> yeah, y'all can hang me in the comments for that one. And we have maple wood here. Another spot to grab maple. 
There's just a damn hole in the ground here. I do not feel an irresistible urge to enter it, actually. I kind of feel the opposite. One wolf down. Saw another one running off, though. And there's one right there, so we're gonna keep taking pop shots at him here. Get that dang hunt next XP. We need it. There we go. And I believe that's the lo the hunting level where you get eagle eye. Awesome. Excellent. Plus, we got Piercing Shot. Let's pick up... Pick up some of our ammo here. Because we've got another contestant. I'm going to keep just shooting him at point blank here, because... We want the hunting XP. Oh, shit ton of badgers. Full metric shit ton of badgers. Seems so far we've only actually lost one arrow. And boy have we gained. That led to the next level of adventuring, level 12, which means, hey, fishing rod. Fishing rod, we have another way to uh, have a steady income of both food and money. No, not the shovel. We want the, we want the axe. Thank you. Here's where we, we're gonna go a little sicko mode. One more wolf. Or I can just hunt these damn badgers in peace. Nope. Never mind. I spoke too soon. You're no match for Egbert. Alright. Let's see what we get in the box. All right, we get some fir wood and a linen green sash. Well then, as tempting as it is to learn a little tailoring from salvaging this, that is worth a decent chunk of change. So I think we'll be uh, we'll be selling that. I think we'll be selling it.
There we go, another level in hunting. And we could definitely do the same to the snake. To the sneaky snake. There we go. Some more snake leather. Oh, Mr. Badger, don't think you're getting out of this. Hate to tell it to you. But your fur's uh, worth a little bit of money. A little bit of money. Oh, a corpse. And a letter. An old letter that reads, We can't help you. We don't want to catch the plague like you. I hope you survive. But you didn't. But you didn't. I'm going to ignore that this man apparently died of the plague and cook a metric ton of meat in his house. Well, even if we, uh, even if we still did need the, uh, fishing rod to, uh, keep up on food, doesn't matter much. But I like having my options, alright? Let me pet the cow. Let me pet the cow again. Good, good cow. I don't know how you survived out here on your own all this time. Other than pure luck with all these wolves around, but... I commend you for it. If I remember correctly, yep, there we go. We had walked right past some... Maple. But we are quite a tired boy from all that fighting. So how about we just, uh, let's do a little drag first. There we go. I'm gonna just drag him on out of here. And we're going to take a sleep. The cow came in the house to say, to say hello. If only I could take you with me. Let's bring back some more maple wood with us as well. No, I'm not uh, planning on doing any log throwing right now. Because we're only at Athletics 3. Dragging will get us up to Athletics 5. At which point we could start throwing logs around to get up to higher levels of Athletics. Because we definitely want Mule. Extra 20 carrying capacity is crazy. Crazy good. How are we doing on carry capacity? Okay, excellent. We got plenty of room for more maple. For more maple. Excellent. Twenty nine maple. We still got more room in the inventory. I was going to say I'm not coming back empty handed, but I'm not coming back empty handed either way. That's for damn sure. But. We're coming back even more not empty handed. One more maple. <sighs> I 
Excellent. Just take a nap on the pile of leaves. Why not? And we do have another unspent point. Reduced crafting time and all that is quite nice. I don't really care that much about magic. I'm not planning on to do, to do much magic with this guy, alright? Um, improved hearing and crafting time and resource recovery chances, all good. Reducing purchase prices is, is kind of nice. So, but, you know, we're kind of leaning towards bows and axes, so I don't want to get too caught up into putting a little bit into everything. At least not right now. Some more strawberries. More strawberries. Alright. Let's head back home. It's a good day's work. We're really getting the proverbial ball rolling. Excellent. Now we are going to have a lot of crafting to do. As well as selling and trading and all that fun stuff here in the near future but uh, we're definitely gonna be playing more of this I'm having a grand time doing so but for now I think we're gonna hang it up so thank you for all for coming out be sure to leave a like maybe even a comment and maybe even subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one have a good one bye bye